into the end zone. So let's check the starters for the Alabama Crimson Tide on offense tonight. The run on second down. It's Riddle. Has five, six, and seven. Close to the first down at the 30-yard line. Martavius Houston comes up from his safety spot to make the tackle on him. As we mentioned in the cut-in, of course, was at Auburn. Then came to Alabama. Now is back in the plane. Running play on third down. Big opening for Riddle. Has six yards. First down. Alabama Crimson Tide will move the chains as he got tripped up by Brumbaugh going through the middle. New line of scrimmage just across the 35. A lot of times swings the pass out to Curtis Alexander, and he's open. 45, 40, 35. Now there's a flag down deep. He will take it to the end zone, but let's check the marker that could be against Alabama. The 63-yard touchdown. So what a stable of running backs Alabama has. Watts with the kickoff. At the one, it's Baker. Robert, oh my goodness, at the 20-yard line, he gets shellacked. That is John David Phillips. Third down, line to make is the 30. Craig's pass, well of its own, and almost intercepted by Deshea Townsend. When you throw the football successfully, you open up the run, and that's what Alabama basically wants to do. Here comes the running play, near sideline, out of bounds, close to another first down at the 40-yard line is Riddle. This is Riddle. They put it in his stomach on this try. He'll have the first down and comes out across the 40 to the 46. Brad Ware, a true freshman out of Powder Springs, Georgia, the free safety gets him. They scored in four plays on the opening drive. That's Riddle in motion toward the sideline. Deep over the middle. Got it. Marcel West inside the 25, and he's down to the 22 as Evans puts the top on him. And Alabama, third down, line to make is the Auburn 12-yard line. Again, those linebackers creep up at the line of scrimmage. They stay at home for the run, and Riddle going to be wrapped up at the line of scrimmage. Jimmy Brumbaugh was not fooled. Good pass. And he's good. Brock from 37 yards. Let's take a timeout. 9.30 left to go opening quarter. All Bama. Four wide outs and Williams at the top of your screen. And now here comes a run. Flag is down. 30, 35, 40. 45 has the first down. But let's see what the marker is all about as Rudd brought him down. Holding Tigers. Third down and 22. Craig going to have to do something incomplete. <laughs> See him pull the guard, the running play. Sean Alexander this time, and he will uh, take it close to the 50-yard line as Bray comes up to make the tackle on him. And Alabama right here would love to stick it in the end zone, and Bill Oliver and company knows full well they got to keep points off the board. As Alexander grabbed by the face mask, that might even be a 15-yarder. We'll wait and see. Picked up close to 10 yards in that play. This time, Sean Alexander comes into the lineup. Breaks off the tackle. 15, down to the 10. It will be first and goal, Alabama. That's a deep in motion. Quick pass right in the middle. Vaughn, touchdown, Alabama. Shows blitz, and here they come. Williams gets by one, gets by a second. It has 5, 10, 15, he's off. Williams, one man, and he's caught by Staten. Holmes to attempt the field goal. This is a 34-yard attempt. Good pass, and he's got it. Auburn is on the scoreboard at the 154 mark of this first quarter. It's Tate, the tight end in motion. Kitchens, that's Brumbaugh, all over him, finally gets it away. Safety valve, and this is Sean Alexander, and he will wind up with positive yardage. I'm not sure how, but he's going to have five in the play. Quentin Reese finally put the stop on him. Kitchens, 
sack. First time that Auburn has gotten to him tonight. Charles Dorsey and Mostella put the stop on him. Two seconds down to one, and that is the end of the first quarter. So let's take a timeout. Alabama by 14 points. We'll be right back. Alabama shows blitz. They stay at home, actually. Craig runs away from the pressure back into the middle of the field and then boy does he pay ozell powell from behind the big 295 pound senior from greenville see the blitz coming right up the middle craig runs away from it and the ball almost intercepted yes he got it intercepted 25 for nando bryant and craig just threw it right to him a good young football team well, now Sean Alexander puts a head down. You can see 47. Mostella is there to hit him. There is a marker down at the 29 as they were stopped short on the third down play. Penalty. We have an illegal formation against the offense. Not enough men on the line of scrimmage. That penalty is declined. Fourth down. Kitchens under center. Sean Alexander tripped over his fullback. He tripped over his blocking back who was Smith. Went right over his ankle. There he is. Moved everybody back. Counter play. Williams gets it outside. Has five. Has ten. And that will be not only enough for the first down, but counted off at about 12 yards. Cedric Samuel defensively. You can see John Cooley a moment ago, number 15, signaling in the plays from the sideline. There's the fade right there. Baker got it. Bailey. Karsten Bailey, and he'll score from... 58 yards. <laughs> Kitchens on third down. Right over the middle, he has got him open. Vaughn with the first down all the way to the 43-yard line. Michael Vaughn in motion back against the line of scrimmage. But it's Riddle, right side. Close to 10 yards in the play is going to be across midfield. Spikes and Ricky Neal combining to make the stop. Under six minutes to play in the first half. Riddle, five, has 10, he's loose. Inside the 25, Martavius Houston will put the stop on him. Riddle going to come back to this side. Nothing doing. That's a nice job. Loses the football, and Spikes is on it. Nope. Taken away by one of his teammates, but it's Auburn football. Yeah, two plays have really hurt the Alabama defense. They've been consistently stopping Auburn's offense. Pass caught. That is a nice job for the first down up at the 37. Willie Gaucher. Craig hit from behind. Intercepted Dwayne Rudd after the quarterback was hit by Kelvin Moore. Rudd had a touchdown and he dropped it. I went after him up the middle, but he gets his kick away. It's away from Goss, and this is a good kick for Auburn. Inside the 10, and it's been touched dead around the five yard line. That is a 51 yard kick. And now Auburn has come back to cut it to seven. Kitchen sets deep, right over the middle, picked off, where? At the 20, at the 10, and we can be tied with an extra point. And quite frankly, the folks from Alabama kind of in shock how quickly this has happened because they were dominating this football game. We're tied at 17. Marcel West at the one. Loses the football. Scramble at the 20-yard line. Auburn has recovered. He got 65 seconds left until halftime. Staten with a blitz right over the middle. Pass is complete. Nope, incomplete at the 11. Baker dropped it after Bryant hitting. Auburn trying to break the tie, Mike. This will be a 34-yard attempt from the far hash mark. Good pass, plenty of distance, and Auburn has gone in front. Sean Alexander in motion to the top of your screen. Kitchens drills it, has it complete across midfield. That's Calvin Hall who came back for it. Kitchens under pressure, gets it away. 
Smith inside the 40. Going to be knocked down at around the 38-yard line. Brad Ware defensively. Auburn grabbed the momentum and headed the other direction in the second half. But that's what you expect and what we always expect to get in this rivalry here. Kitchens, pressure from the backside, and they're going to get it. That was Carson who was relentless. Sack team, that's the second time. Now you can't take a sack in that situation. You've got to throw the ball away. One second, and it is halftime. That's the end of the first half with our score. Auburn 20 and Alabama 17. Now let's join Mike Tirico with the GMAC halftime report. Right now they need the 35-yard line to keep this drive going. Craig from the shotgun. Lops it over the middle. Got a man open. Goodson inside the 40 and he's down to the 37 yard line as samuel made the tackle craig looks right up the middle also for the outside the pressure and it is caught inside the 30 yard line by karsten bailey auburn will go for it they need to take the ball just inside that 27 yard line quick count pitch comes to beasley and he'll have the first down i believe yep Rusty inside the 20s down to the 19. Cedric Samuel on the stop. Yep. Third down and short. Pitch Beasley hit in the backfield. He's not going to have it. The Auburn first down, Chris Hood. The sophomore out of Town Creek is the man who did the play. 34-yard attempt from the far hash mark. Just got it away. Kicked plenty long, and he's good. Out of the backfield. Riddle drops the football. Auburn has controlled field position here, even since the second quarter. Craig, play action going to go on top. And it is intercepted. That's Kevin Jackson. Alexander runs into his own blocker. He wants to throw the football, and it was caught and then dropped by Michael Vaughn. Good heavens. So it's third down. They need the 41-yard line. This pass is intercepted, and it spikes. Takeo spikes, stepped in front, and Kitchens again throws the interception. Counter tray hit in the backfield. Rusty Williams is just annihilated by Chris Hood. And let's check in with Kellen Winslow. Alabama needs the ball out at the 36 to pick up the first down. We're under five to play, third quarter. Kitchens gets it out. He'll have the first down as he gets it to Patrick Hape, his tight end. Out close to midfield as Dan Evans makes the tackle. Alabama right here trying to jerk the momentum away because they have been idled since scoring 17 points. Auburn has come back and look here, open and running inside the 35-yard line. Dennis Riddle, it's going to be a gain of 13, and Mostella will make the tackle on him. Top of the screen, number 84, that's Shamari Buchanan, the outstanding freshman from Atlanta. But they go with the running play, tries to turn the corner, Riddle will. Stays on his feet, out of bounds at the 28 and a half, Charles Rose defensively. Well, let's see, to pick up the first down, they need to take it to the 25. Look at Auburn hopping up inside. Are they going to come with a blitz? Yep, they are. Kitchens better hurry. Gets by one tackler, throws it. It is intercepted by Antoine Nolan. Craig and first down makes his throw complete. Carson Bailey, and a flag is down in the vicinity where the play was made to Shea Townsend. It may have a face mask on him. I think it's been the turnovers and the fact that they got those two big plays on offense. The big pass and Rusty Williams' a big run. Shovel pass. Williams, 5-10 across the 50 and knocked down. Tried to set up the screen. Alabama smelled it out. Going to try to run, and he'll be tackled for a loss back at the 45-yard line. Kelvin Moore, and it's the first time that they have officially sacked him uh, in tonight's ballgame. They fake it to him. Pressure, and that's going to be a sack by Reese.
Kitchens pass caught by Vaughn at the 15 yard line and he goes down he's 10 yards short of the first down but what he did give them is they got room to get the punt away now well, they fake the counter play they roll out Craig good pressure on him and he just throws it away not that subject Kitchen. Four times he's been sacked. It's Quentin Reese again. Play clock is at three. Get it away. Pressure is there. Pass is caught right over the middle by Bailey. And he'll have the Auburn first down at the 29. Williams gets outside. Turns the corner for five, six, and seven. And Kellen Winslow, what do you have? Boy, Staten out of the ball game, we're told, with a bruised shoulder. Williams gets a block. He's going to have the first down, I believe. Let's see where they're going to spot it. First down, Auburn from the 40. French pass is tipped and then should have been caught, and it was dropped by Goodson. And that's Bryant who got a hand on it. Well, he was right there for the interception, Ron. He read the route all the way. Craig, the only back. It's been an automatic blitz, and that's exactly what happens. Stone right over the middle, has it complete. And Baker being pushed back. Uh, let's see, from where they're giving him forward progress at the Alabama 48, that's a first down. Williams dancing up through what appeared to be a small hole. He's going to wind up with a gain of close to six yards on the play. He loves sneaking up into the hole. They run right by him, but that's a great tackle from the secondary Cedric Samuel to knock down Williams. Down to two, just got it off. Blitz is there, Staten hits him as he gets his pass away, and it is in and out of the hands of Baker as Townsend had the cover. Covered like a blanket, Ron Deshay Townsend running stride for stride with Robert Baker. Five minutes and 37 seconds left in the ball game. That last Auburn drive, just shy of six minutes. Kitchens pass, complete, drawn over the middle to the 31-yard line. Good for 17. Well, this is what they're playing for tonight. Alabama wins in the West. They're the division winner. Auburn wins, and an LSU win over Arkansas next week, then LSU would be the division winner. Auburn wins, LSU loses, then Auburn would be the winner of the Western Division of the Southeastern Conference. Two weekends from today. Kitchens right over the middle, has the pass complete at the 46-yard line. Sure goes up, roll tied. Kitchens looking, looking, flag comes down. That's probably going to be holding as Kitchens runs. Enough for the first down, out of bounds, down at the Auburn 39. But let's check out this marker and when it was thrown and where it was thrown, you'd almost have to guess holding. 4 of 13 on third down conversions. Kitchens is sacked. Leonard Carlson and Carson has him. That's the fifth time that they have been sacked tonight. Craig pitches back to Williams. Stuck hard at the line of scrimmage by Cedric Samuel. Craig does not want to go out of bounds, goes down. You can see the official winding that arm. He stayed on the field of play as Staten and Hood combined on the stop. And now we're about to go under two and a half to play. Third down. Kitchens gets it away, has it complete, and that is Buchanan. And Kitchens is down. He took quite a shot as he got it away, and it looks as though that his left leg is injured. Safety valve. Riddle turns it upfield. Cuts it back into the middle. Has the first down and runs over his own man. Kitchens from the shotgun. Again, they swing it out. Riddle cuts it forward. He may have another first down. Yes, he does. That same thing again. Going to go for the end zone. He's got a man there. And interference is going to be called. Vaughn had gotten behind the defensive back. If you're Auburn, you better know where Michael Vaughn is right now in the 22 and the back out of the backfield. They're having success going to him. Kitchen steps up into the pocket. 
pumps it. He'll run inside the 10, and he's down to the 9. Brumbaugh makes the tackle. 102, down to 101. Alabama has no timeouts left. Down to 46, second and one. Pass right over the middle, hits him in the hand, dropped it. Then did he catch it? Can't tell. They're going to say yes. It is first and goal, Alabama. He juggled it twice and then came down with it. Kitchen swings it out to Riddle. At the five, he will score! Auburn's going to come off the corner hard. Brock with the attempt. Gets a good pass, kick is up. Alabama on top by one. Of course, he doesn't have any timeouts, but he's still got the long ball possibilities. William Watts with the kickoff, and that goes out of bounds. So they're going to get a little head start as far as taking it up the field. They made some adjustments. They really came on. They've got to get it done now. Craig under pressure. Runs away from Myers. Gets his pass away deep. It is knocked away by Deshae Townsend. And we have eight seconds left. But to prevent defense in here, now it's guard the goal line time. Swings it out, has it complete to Williams. Gets out of bounds at the 41. Two seconds showing on the clock. The line of scrimmage is the 40-yard line. They've dropped all the way back to the 10 and 15-yard line. Looks like a kickoff return. Damian Craig, everything he's got. And it is knocked away by Alabama. 